three, two, one, boom. And we are back with another episode of Scratch Gamers. It's another movie review. We checked out uh, Brightburn mm-hmm. under the, uh, how, do you, how do you put this? Where it's like, I totally got like a brain freeze there where it's like, what is it when people, under the recommendation of uh, Wob, he's like, oh, you should check out this movie. Well, did he say that or check out the trailer? Check out the trailer, yeah, yeah. And I was like, oh, okay. So I got really hyped over it. Right. And then so we decided to check it out. It wasn't really um, put on television, like commercials and stuff. No. I didn't really see anything for it. No, it's pretty indie, so. Yeah, so it did feel like an indie movie. Uh, basically, mm-hmm. it was the dark version of Superman or like a twisted version of Superman. Like what yeah. would happen if Superman was actually evil? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So um, that's the premise, and as with all movie reviews, we're going to score it, talk about it, score it again, see if we swayed each other's opinion. So, Vish, what'd you give it? I'll give it a four. Oh, cold. All right. Oh. Wow. All right. Uh, I would give it a, f- I was going to say five, but that <laughs> seems a bit low. I'm going to give it a Six? seven. Oh, seven. Wow, that seems yeah. high. <laughs> No, I'm, I'm going to go with the movie review on this one, the IMDb score. Okay. I, I'd say this is pretty good. Pretty good. It, it mm, Okay. All right. Let's let's talk about what we thought of it. Like, there was some cool things. It's just that I didn't like it. I didn't. Okay, so what? what from wherever. Yeah. Okay, so I gave it a 7 because I agreed with the person who rated it. They're like, it's a one-time watch. They gave it a 10, but they're like, it's a one-time watch. And, okay. yeah, I, I'd put it in that category. It's, it's like a, a zero-time watch for me. Oh, really? You just wish you had never seen that? Yeah, it's nothing. I mean, we were we were choosing between the two, right? Godzilla and, yeah, this one. So, yeah. It's more, like, uh, at the end of it, I'm like, hmm, should have chose Godzilla. <laughs> well, I, I don't really like Godzilla. Like, I don't like monster movies. So, right, yeah. for me, it was, like, it was the better of the two, right. I thought. Okay. Although I didn't see Godzilla, so maybe Godzilla was, like, amazing. If well, You know, if I The mean, Rock was in Godzilla, I think it would be awesome. I'd watch that. <laughs> The Rock is, like, so motivational. But, all right, so what would you like about the movie? Uh, what did I like? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, the the tropes of Superman that they're trying to hit. Okay. Okay, I see what you're saying. Right. Yeah, yeah, those iconic uh, iconic scenes. Yes. Um, so, like, it's like, well, what, what were your uh, iconic scenes? I mean, like, okay, so he's just a kid just discovering powers. Well, that's Kinda, true. That was cool. Right. I, I like that. Right. I did like that. And then, um, it almost seemed like the spaceship, um, spoiler, because we, well, all of our yeah. movies are spoiler heavy, <laughs> yeah, yeah. uh, but it almost seemed like the spaceship was making him crazy. Yes. You know? hmm So, like, I guess the difference between Superman and this kid would be that the thing that was making the kid evil was the spaceship. Or the, uh, I mean, that was the mission that he was sent to, sent to do, so uh, there's it was, just It's relaying. almost like a Dragon Ball Z, like Kakarot kind of thing. I don't know what that is. A Dragon Ball Z, Goku. Okay. When he oh okay so like I don't know much about Dragon the Ball Z. the whole the whole idea of the Saiyan race is they send these babies and these pods to like take over planets for them. Oh, so it's basically it's, that. it's basically that. It's yeah, basically, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So and that's why they turn to like these like giant ape mm. monkeys and then like their mission is to like like take over the planet. Right. So that the rest of the Saiyans can come and then like yes, you know, mm. basically it was that movie. Yeah. 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 Um, uh, other tropes, uh, like the flying and like, it's just instead of being like a, like I don't know, he, he like I mean growing up on a farm that's one of those simple things that are the exact same thing. Yeah, yeah true. Right? It's another intense parallel. Yeah, and hiding that spaceship. spaceship yep, where it is. It, it literally was Superman, but a, like a darker take. Yeah, or like, where can you? What can you do to spin it to make it a darker take, right? Like, yeah, that's yeah, basically yeah. what they're trying to find without saying that it's Superman, but it's Superman. It, it totally. So I like that they don't have the rights for it, so they can't. Totally, yeah, yeah. I like, uh, I like that Billie Eilish was, uh, her song was there at the very end. That was kind of cool because mm-hmm. she's into that kind of weird, dark, twisted stuff. Yeah, I thought it was cool how, well, not really cool, but it took so long, but it was cool. When mm-hmm. like the gore started kicking in, started killing people like in a like an intense way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, and like they get slashed on their faces, or like you burn them. <laughs> like that was kind of cool. Like the the gore was pretty heavy at the very end. Yeah, so that was only at the end, right? Like the whole beginning bit mm-hmm. was a bit 
boring to me. I see, I see what you're saying. I felt, and it was only like the last, I don't know if that's the last 30 minutes of it, but the last 30 minutes of it were, were, were interesting, yeah. True, yeah, yeah, yeah. When he started to like embrace his power and become like super evil. Yeah. 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 I agree. I agree with that. Yeah, the beginning was kind of boring. I was kind of like, all right, you're trying to set the stage, make us care about these characters, but it's like, uh, it w- I'm, I'm going to chalk it up to it being an indie film. It was a great idea, but like, yeah. I guess the execution was kind of poor. I think the execution was not that. Like, the actual there. premise of it was great. Yeah, like, yeah, that's the pretty premise genius. Is good. Yeah. But the actual, like, the filming and the story writing was, mm, was not okay. where I would like it to be, but yeah. I I like to always preface this with uh, it's amazing that you guys actually made the movie, you know. Mm-hmm. Keep doing your art; that's awesome. But like, this is just our opinion. No, but I don't think this. That's not. Yeah, we're not trying to say that. I mean, there's always going to be some that. No, but I've seen some that don't. Totally, right? totally. But I've seen like uh, these it's, actor interviews where like they hear this kind of stuff and they get really like broken up about what other people say. Yeah, but that's so like, with any anything you like, right? You like certain things. I don't like certain things. This is it's just. I part guess. of life that you do have to understand that not everyone is going to like what you do. True. All right. I agree. All right. So what, what did you not like about the movie? Uh, I mean, the acting. <laughs> Touche. You're right. That, right. Was, that was poorly executed. That goes back to the poor mm. execution. Um, what didn't I like about it? It did feel kind of dragging at times. That's why I felt like sleepy a bit, a bit that it was. I did feel sleepy as well. Like I was kind of like, hmm. This this could be a little more entertaining. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The the pace the pacing wasn't there. Pacing wasn't there. You know, um, yeah. It's it was just the last thirty minutes. That's really what it, you just should have just showed up for, to that. When when he <laughs> broke her hand, I thought that was pretty intense. That was uh, yes, but it was like that was a weird thing too. Like he liked the girl, but then he died. Du- he broke her hand. Then he's like, he wants to save her. Because she said, like, he's a pervert. Oh, I see what you're saying. It was so back and forth. Because, like, he liked her. She didn't like him. So he got angry. But then why would you go back to her mm-hmm. if you already pissed at her? Yeah. And then that was, I thought that was kind of intense when uh, he's like, your mom is standing in the way of us. I'll fix that. And he kills <laughs> yeah, the mom. Yeah. Like, oh, my God. I thought he was going to kill the aunt, to be honest. The aunt? Yeah. Remember, like, he's oh, like, Don't yes, talk yes, to the... yes, 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 yes. Yeah, I thought he was going to kill her. Didn't kill her, but killed Didn't the Didn't kill her, but killed the, yeah. What's weird is, like, he's a comedian, though. That's why it was funny the way he was acting. Oh, I didn't he's meant to be a comedian. Oh, okay. Like, I've seen him in shows where he's more like a comedy kind of character. So, oh, okay, okay. That's why it was like that. I, I thought it was kind of weird because he has, like, super speed, and then he got caught in the, the, um, what was it? The closet? Right. But he had super speed, so it's like, why didn't you just leave the claw? Why'd you let yourself get caught? Uh, maybe he wanted to get caught. I was thinking that, too. Maybe he did want to get caught and, like, let him make his own choice. Like, Actually, I don't remember. Me. I'm trying to think of that scene, but I'm, I think that was where I was a little bit asleep. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, that's so funny. Yeah. I, I thought it was... Um, there was a lot of, like, corny moments in the movie. Yes. Like... Um, like, you knew what was going to happen, like, when he, the dad was going to shoot the son in the head. Yeah. And you're like, this is not going to work. It's not going to work, but it was, it's still a cool, like, when he did shoot him, it was kind of like, just see the, like, it was cool just to see him, him figure out that, oh, shit, nothing can stop him. True, true, true. And then I thought it was super corny at the end when the mom was like, she was about to stab him. It's like, she <laughs> Why did you raise it? That's so what I was thinking, too. You? Exactly, exactly. Why? I was like, that's too far. You're going to, that's not going to work. When she rose it over her head, I was like, you should have just stabbed him like Jon Snow stabbed Daenerys. <laughs> yeah. You know? Like, yes, just like yes. I thought it was going to be like that. I honestly thought I it was going to be like that. I thought so, too. I thought they were going to end it like stab. that. It's like, okay, mm-hmm. true. Game of Thrones. But like... When she rose it in the air, I'm like, oh, he's going to catch that. Yeah. And then he caught it. And yeah. he was like, ah. Oh. I don't know why. We, like, this happens so many times in movies. Like, yeah. just don't do that anymore. We don't need to do that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. exactly. If you watch one horror movie, you know that they can see it coming. Yeah. Yeah. I don't I don't know why we keep doing that. That was, that was pretty cool when uh, he, he got angry, like, when he stopped his mom and then flew through the roof and then, like, her face was all cut up. I was like, oh, so that, wow. that's Yeah, so that all was, right. like, so that one, um, because, again, that, that hits the opposite to Superman where people would fall and he would catch them. Mm-hmm. But he would, this one would be, he would take them up as high as possible and just drop them. Like, that was something True. they had to do, something that would be different than Superman. You know what I mean? Like, 
Yeah, you yeah, have yeah, to yeah. like if you know what Superman does, is he'll catch people falling and all that stuff. So what we you gotta do the opposite of that. True, true, true. Right. So like, so the ending was yeah, dropping her, and then you see the plane coming. Normally, Superman's like the, the, that's like the first thing you always see in any like Superman show or movie, him stopping a plane. Mm-hmm. Right or rescuing the people on the plane, and this one it says he just destroys the plane. True, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, true, true. I, I thought it was kind of weird that the mom. I thought she was gonna pass out because of the altitude, and then she'd just like fall and like, she wouldn't like wake up and freak out like how she did. Right. I thought that was kind of weird, but but now that you say like the parallels and stuff, it's like yeah. Um, at the end when they're showing like those news clips Mm -hmm. that's how it was with Superman too they were showing news clips except instead of him saving he was like destroying things exactly I thought yeah that's true now that I think about that that was kind of cool like they were trying to just think of anything the opposite and do the opposite of Mm -hmm. that for Superman yeah that's why I think it was it was worth the seven it was like it was really creative but at the same time it's like I wouldn't watch it again Mm -hmm. but it's creative you know right Um, yeah is there anything else you can think of from that movie I really don't. This is really the ending that got my attention, where where I was more awake for it. True, yeah. And then um, and then having that he won at the end. Basically, he's going to get, or he's going to do what he was meant to do on that planet. Yeah. Which was to to take over. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Right. I thought they would at least show it a little bit, like. I thought I thought it was gonna end with him like ruling the world or something. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah, but I. Uh, it's almost like a troll movie. It was like they're trying to troll. I guess so. You know, like yeah. I mean, this was Sony, right? Sony and some oh, was? other. I thought Sony oh. was, it showed up there in the beginning. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, but it was with other random ones that we don't know. Um, mm. But I think I saw Sony's title in there. So they're because they don't have the rights. So this is right. a. I mean, this is a good way to do it. Maybe other people could try to take this idea and do it to other superhero characters and like troll a bunch of them. Yeah, and then do just the opposite of it. Like they're mm, like, what if they were evil? Yeah. When uh, I thought it was like the beginning of a series when they're like, oh, look at all these other ones, mm-hmm. other ones that are popping up. Oh, Remember at the end they yeah, showed yeah, like yeah. six of them. I was like, oh, yeah. okay, like this is gonna be a series. Well, maybe. Maybe if it did well, I guess they could have alluded to the... It was like that Mummy next, movie. Uh, Remember in Mummy, it's supposed mm-hmm. to be, that's supposed to kick off a whole new series of like, but nothing came out no. after that. Yeah, because it didn't do well. I don't know how it would generally this would, this one did in comparison, because it's just an indie movie. So mm-hmm. it may have done well for itself. We don't know. True. But, uh, yeah, I did like some of the Superman things, you know, the flying and just... Just destroying everything. <laughs> okay, this movie or Aquaman? Have you seen Aquaman? Yeah, we saw Aquaman. Oh, okay. Uh, we saw Aquaman? I thought yeah, it was I right. think... Did your brother come? I don't remember, actually. I remember me... Oh, did we see it and then I saw it twice? Maybe you saw it. Did you see it? Why would you I, see it? You saw, we saw it with my sister? Yeah, I think so. Oh, okay, so I thought it was your brother and my sister. Okay, so we saw it. All right, what did you... Th- oh, yeah, 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 your brother watched it beforehand. Yeah, 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 okay, I remember now. Oh, yeah, So, yeah, yeah. um... Better than Aquaman? But this one better than Aquaman? Yeah, was it? Question mark. Uh, I like how that's my benchmark. Now. I, I don't. Yeah, <laughs> I, I mean, I don't. What What was my Aquaman score? I don't know because I put it as this one at four, right? I don't know. True. Uh, I guess you got to look at that. <laughs> okay. True. Oh, well, from what you remember, mm-hmm. would you say that you would rather watch this or Aquaman? I mean, I'd rather watch this. Still can't take Aquaman. <sighs> I wouldn't do both, I guess. I don't know. It's just so difficult. Just save your to... money twice. Yeah. True. Yeah. Pragmatic. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I don't know any final thoughts about this movie. What, what are you going to rescore? Are you going to rescore it? What's your final score? Uh, I'll bump it to a five. Hey, you changed. I did, you got I it did, up. I did I like, like that. The, I like that. The tropes. Yeah. Attacking the tropes. That's a new word. I don't, where did you hear that word? I've never heard of that before. I don't know. Like... I don't know. In the internet. <laughs> mm, all right, true. I'm going to give it a... Ah, it's tough. It's tough. Because I'm going to give it a six. Is... I'm going to give it a six. Okay, you went all down. Right, I went down. I went down. <laughs> all right, you went up. I went down. All right, we were more realistic 5.5 movie. Yeah. That sounds about right. That, that sounds about right. Yeah, that was a 5.5. Yeah. 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 All right. So this is a short one. You got any um, kind of philosophical thoughts on... Why Superman? 
I mean, I just think... Wasn't, wasn't Superman around during the Nazi time? Yeah. That's I think it started right? in the 30s, right? And then I think, the, yeah, the, he and was... he couldn't fly in the beginning? Yeah, he could just leap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's weird, like, when you see the origins of those stories, like, did you see uh, the uh, Wonder Woman origin? Yeah. And then she yeah. was actually as, like, a burlesque thing? No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. No, hold on, hold on. Yeah, no, no, okay. no. The guy was into that stuff. Yeah, but he incorporated his yeah likes into a hero. Yeah, 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 totally. Yeah, yeah. And they didn't want that. In the it wasn't that she was like, doing that. No, he no, yeah, no, no. Of course, yeah. No, I'm <laughs> saying like the origins of why they created these things. Okay, so that's that's different you know. than the way the character was. No, yeah, definitely. No, no. Of right. course, because the character still does the same thing. For sure, for sure. I'm saying like where, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. think of this altruistic... Yeah. Or like, who the oh, creator was yeah. and why it was created in the first place. Yeah, what are the influences? But, like, you'd yeah. never think that, like, her her get-up was, like, based off of the burlesque stuff. Yeah. I think that was, was kind of like, cool, though, in my opinion. Yeah. Because it was kind of really shunned upon then. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah, so yeah. it was a way to break through, uh, change the whole mind of a generation, maybe. I love how that movie came out at the same time as Wonder Woman. Yeah. So it was like... <laughs> Yeah. I remember when I watched that, I was like, oh, I wonder what this will be about. I watched it by myself, too. Did you? Yeah. Okay. So I, just, I had nothing to do. I think it was, like, back when I was working from home, like, all the time. So then I just, like, took a break. And hmm. Yeah, you guys were at work. So I was like. Oh, okay. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was meh. It was meh. I liked it. The movie. Oh, which one? The the Wonder Woman. Oh, I liked it. I just, uh Because you like all those, like, weird... <laughs> like you like human nature i just, i like i like the i'm just aspirational nature i don't uh, like i don't like human i nature. like everything because it's all everything is human nature right so it's just like it's just interesting to see how we but what, what do you people. like i see you strike me more of a person as like who likes human nature versus aspirational nature and what i mean by that is like would you want like, like uplifting you mean uplifting yeah, stuff yeah yeah i know i know yeah yeah but like i i don't which see one would i like uh gr- like uh um, lean towards, I guess. Yeah, exactly. You, you like the dramas. I do like the dramas. I, I hate the dramas, you know? I like watching movies that make me go like, oh, I should do that too, or I could do that. But you know? it depends on what movie that is, right? There are some that kind of apply to both, so. True, true. Like, you like that movie, uh, what was that? Beyond, no, not Beyond, uh, two, three billboards outside Missouri or something? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Worst movie ever. Not worst movie. No, it was a really good movie. Like, it was a really good movie, just no, it's not it like, made me feel really bad. No, no, no. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You it wasn't too, a bad movie. You get too emotionally like, attached. Yeah, that's true, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this well, I, I look for movies bad. that they could actually make me tear up because then those are on the top of my list. Yeah. I that's guess, how I do like it. pushing you through emotions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's funny. You're like, oh, you get too emotionally attached. This coming from the person who's studying like unattachment. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I think it's almost like but because it's... because I'm plagued so heavily by it. It's like I need to figure out the off switch. Yeah, yeah. So that's yeah, why yeah. I like found the off switch. I get, yeah, yeah. You know, true. Because I, I mean, I, 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 can't, I, I can't take those movies. At no, no, all. no. Oh but but there's there's a lot of people that like like that too, though, right? And when when they watch movies, they want to have a, like a different like you're already going through hardships. Let's say. You want something more comedy, more... True, yeah. Okay. Right? You want yeah. something that's different from that. So you're saying so. your life is so blissful that that's why you want to see, like, sad Maybe, people? yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. <laughs> maybe. Yeah, I guess, maybe, yeah. I don't know, like, I, I look for, I look for, like, feeding my, my conscious and my subconscious mind yeah. with, like, like, uplifting stuff, you know? Right. That motivates you to do things, mm-hmm. you know? Or else I should be sad all day. Like, ah, just, yeah. even even with this movie, um, this uh, Brightburn, yeah. I was like, these people are sad people. Like, the way they were, like, interacting with their lives and the way they were living, I was like, this is, like, some small-town drama, you know? Yeah, but it's, like, more simpler. I, I just didn't like in, it. In that sense. So even, right. even with that, it was just, like, not aspirational. Like, yeah, save for it, the fact that he was, like, killing people. I mean, like, just generally, <laughs> it was not... Like, the people in the movie were, like, kind of sad. I don't like that. Uh, I guess so, yeah. It makes you question, like, Western society filming, like, entertainment and, like, Eastern society entertainment. You know what I'm saying? It's the same. No, no, no. There's there's 100% a difference. 
like the way the West portrays their stories is different than the way they portray their stories in the East. Okay, for instance, like, like like anime, like cartoons, right? Okay, well, we're talking about anime though. No, no, but that that's also in their that's like in their it's in their culture. Yeah, know? yeah, no, I know, but I mean, like that's a specific genre that'll fit certain things right like it, it, same with movies I mean. for, for sure no like i believe that entertainment is an expression of your culture yeah right it, it's it's like it's like an introspection and you're giving this an example of like like the people in like uh three billboards outside missouri those are very real, realistic people yeah you know yeah because you're trying to like portray what life is like but there's like a lot of sadness like a lot of like mm-hmm. incompleteness but yeah. like in eastern cultures they they like they don't like Show, well, it depends on what Eastern culture, but like I'm thinking of Japan right now. They're very like um, astute. They're very like disciplined. So like they portray that in their film. They, you're not gonna see like a bunch of freaking Western style Japanese people in the Japanese movie. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 Uh, I mean, I do. Get, I, I see what you mean, but but I'm, I'm saying like, and that that reinforces our programming. Like what you like, entertainment is a yeah. uh, entertainment is a mirror to what society is like. Mm-hmm. But we don't realize that that creates a feedback loop. So you're like you're just reinforcing the mirror. But you can like break that if you just like change things up. Mm-hmm. You know, more positivity and like whatever. I yeah. guess. I mean. It was like uh, like Shazam, going back to Shazam and how much I hated Shazam because like the way they portrayed that spoiled little kid using his powers, mm-hmm. you know, it was like, it's true though, like, yeah, but the majority of them would probably be spoiled too, but it's like, you're just reinforcing that like negative perspective because then kids are going to see me like, oh, I should do that too. But I didn't see that though when you talked about that. Like, that's not what, how I viewed it, so. Yeah, but I think, I think we're... Like, I'm always looking through the filter of marketing and, like, programming. Yeah. Like, how you're programming the subconscious. Yeah. But you're looking at it as, like, sheer entertainment. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. you're not looking at how this is going to affect people who are watching it. You're mm-hmm. just watching it like, oh, was this good or not? Right. You know? I'm looking at it from, like, a more meta perspective. Mm-hmm. So that's why I didn't like it. Okay. Yeah. I see. Well, that was in an earlier podcast anyways. <laughs> yeah. We're just talking about human nature. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. West I know, versus I know. East. Uh, I still think that the East uh, does the same kind of it's not. Uh, I don't. Similar. Some depends on the topic. I would. I would say. Wait, wait, tell me what? Types of movies. I'm saying. Uh huh. What about it? Like they do similar types of movies. Like with. No, 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 no. They do. I see what you're saying. Yeah. No, they do similar types of movies, yeah. but the interactions of the characters are different. Oh, okay. No, okay, they, they okay, do. Okay. No, no, no. I'm not saying that they don't do sad movies. No, no, they do sad movies. Uh, I'm saying if you watch the interactions of the characters, it's way different than we. Oh, okay. So, uh, I see so what like, you mean. okay, so three okay. billboards. It's not that that person died or like that they're putting up these three billboards. Mm. It was just like, how do they interact with one another? Yeah. On a subtle level, level, not like trying to progress the story. Just how did those interactions happen? Oh, okay. okay. Remember, I and then see, like, and like the dad like came in and was like choking the mom, and then the like, son was like, "Freaking hate you, mom. You're such a b." You know what I mean? Like, what? What is this? Like, I'm watching you guys like squabble, mm-hmm. right? But there will be sad movies in like Eastern cultures too, but it's like the way they interact. They still show like filial piety, where it's like you look up to your elders and like. You you don't yeah, 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 you know okay. what I mean like I yeah that's what that's what I'm saying oh okay yeah yeah it's good that you brought that up because it's like no no I didn't mean like they don't do sad movies yeah that's what I was they, trying no, to no, they do sad movies I'm saying like just the way the characters act gotcha. and behave gotcha. on a subtle level mm. okay yeah very interesting yeah all right so what what is the next movie we're gonna watch uh, I don't know I mean there's different ones coming out. I'm not really interested in Dark Phoenix, but I'm not I'm sure not, if we're going to no, do that. I'm not interested in Dark uh, Phoenix either. I don't want to see Sansa Stark with superpowers. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm just waiting for MCU to do the Wait, X-Men quick pause, stuff. quick pause. So I watched her interview on Dr. Phil, and that was, that's a good example of, like, 
taking the negative comments too. Like if if she heard me say like I don't want to see Sansa Stark with superpowers, she'd feel really bad. Like yeah, like she like her as a person. She was saying like in her family they suffer with like depression. Mm-hmm. So like when she reads those comments, they're like extra. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's why I like to preface like, no, Sansa, you are awesome, great, great actress. Keep it 100. Okay. You know, I was saying, like, you just gotta, like, balance it out a little bit. Because like, we're about sure. to, like, crap on you. It's like, throw out some love. You yeah, know? but, you know, that's what they had to figure out. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> well, whatever. Uh, I, so, reviews are gonna be reviews. You just, you can't hold back people's opinions in a sense. You're, you, it has to be you that has to start being able to handle it, I guess. I see what you're saying. Right. There's always going to be someone that doesn't like something, so. True. And then this, well, yeah, right. that's a discussion for another time. Yeah. Or else we're going to go, like, deep. Because I was about to go into, like, uh, freedom <laughs> of speech. And I'm like, oh, what yeah, does freedom yeah, of speech yeah. mean then? But next time, next time. Um, so what what else we got to look forward to? I don't remember. Lion King. Lion King, that's in July. I believe in June there should Oh, June. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Yes. Is that July? Oh, uh, June? I think that's June. All right, cool, cool. I love Quentin Tarantino movies. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, me too. All right, so we'll check that one out. Yeah, we'll see what else is out there. I don't know. Yeah, true. All right, so stay Whatever tuned. Whatever happens, yeah. This was, not ex- this was also not expect. Like, we weren't thinking of going to see this. Brightburn? Yeah. No, I always wanted to see it. Okay, but, I mean, like, yeah. we had a, it was a choice between that and Godzilla. Oh, yeah, yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. True, true. Yeah. So you never know. All right, till next cool. time. Yes. Take it easy. Uh, live long, prosper. And prosper. Okay, cool. Yeah, all right. Bye. Take it easy. Bye. <laughs>